Practically, Krishna is not here within this material world. Just like big man, his factory is going on, his business is going on, but it's not necessarily he has to be present there. Similarly, Krishna's potency is working. His assistants, his so many demigods, they are working. They describe in the Shastra, that's like the sun. Sun is the practical cause of this material cosmic manifestation. That is described in the Brahma Sanghita. Jachakshuri Sasabita Sakalak Grahanam Raja Samastha Suravurti Asi Sutija Jasagaya Brahmati Sang Vitakala Chakru Govindamadi Purisam Tamang Bhajami Govinda, the sun is described one of the eyes of God. He is seeing everything. You cannot hide yourself from the seeing of God. As you cannot hide yourself from the sun sign. So, in this way, God's name, there can be any name, and it is admitted in Vedic literature that God has got many names, but this Krishna name is the chief name. Mukha. Mukha means principle. And it is very nicely explained. All attractive. In so many ways, he is all attractive. So, God's name. The Krishna consciousness movement is propagating God's name, God's glory, God's activities, God's beauty, God's love, everything. As we have got many things within this material world, all of them, they are in Krishna. Whatever you have got, just like here, the most prominent feature in this material world is sex attraction. But that is there in Krishna. We are worshiping Radha and Krishna. Attraction. But that attraction and this attraction is not the same. That is real, and here it is unreal. We are also dealing with everything which are present in the spiritual world, but it is only reflection. It has no real value. Just like in the tailor's shop, sometimes there are so many beautiful dolls. A beautiful girl is standing, but nobody cares to see it. Because everyone knows that it is false. However beautiful it may be, it is false. But a living woman, if she is beautiful, so many people see. Because this is real. This is an example. Here the so-called living is also dead. Because the body is matter. It is a lump of matter. As soon as the soul goes away from the same beautiful woman, nobody cares to see it. Because it is as good as the doll on the window of Taylor's shop. The real factor is the spirit soul. And because here everything is made of dead matter, therefore it is simply imitation, reflection. The real thing is in the spiritual world. There is a spiritual world. Those who have read Bhagavad Gita, they can understand. The spiritual world is described there. Parastasmatu bhava anya bhaktya bhaktya sanatana. Bhava means nature. There is another nature beyond this nature. We can see this nature up to the limit of the sky. The scientists, they are trying to go to the highest planet, but they are calculating it will take forty thousands of years. So who is going to live for forty thousands of years, go and come back? But there is planet. So we cannot calculate even the length and breadth of this material world, what to speak of the spiritual world. Therefore, we have to know from authoritative sources. That authoritative source is Krishna, because we have already described. Nobody is wiser or in knowledge than Krishna. So Krishna gives this knowledge that parastas matu bhava enya. Beyond this material world, there is another spiritual sky. There are also innumerable planets. And that sky is far, far greater than this sky. It is one-fourth only, and the spiritual sky is three-fourth. That is described in the Bhagavad Gita. 
Ekaṅśena sito jadat. This is only one part, this material world. The other spiritual world is threefold. Suppose God's creation is one hundred. It is only twenty-five percent. Seventy-five percent is there. Similarly, the living entities also, a very small fragmental portion of the living entities are here. And there in the spiritual world, the major portion is there. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama.